Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, October the 28th, 2023. Right now, I'm at the Bucktown Marina in Metairie, Louisiana, just outside the city of New Orleans. And this morning, we're going to be walking a section of the Pontchartrain Lakefront Trail. We're going to be walking about seven and a half miles. We're going to be going westbound, starting here at the marina, finishing up at the Treasure Chest Casino in Kenner. And we're going to go ahead and get started now. So we're just leaving the harbor area, but what we're gonna do is before we get on the main trail, there's actually a little walkway. It's the uh, Bucktown Boardwalk Marsh Trail. It's a little loop that just goes out over the lake. So we're gonna do that first, and then we're gonna go ahead and get on the main trail. Uh, this is where we just came from just a short walk so this is the trail uh new orleans i'm facing new orleans right now and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn in this direction as you can see uh, right out of the gate uh, you can see to the left there's the bike path for both directions and then there's a walker's path so we're gonna stay on this side of the trail Well, if you're new to the channel, I normally walk a lot of traditional nature trails, but with the fact that today's high is supposed to be in the mid eighties, so it's not that comfortable going in the woods yet. And also the fact that I like to cover one of these type of trails every year that's handicap accessible. I figured it'd be a good way to start the new hiking season with this. And so what I'll be doing is along the way, I'll be pointing out some different things. Like for instance, you can see behind me, there are places to sit down. I'm gonna try to point out other amenities as well. Uh, but uh, for the most part, there's quite a bit out here for you to be able to stop, take a break, get you something to drink, uh, find a restroom, that sort of thing. So I'll be pointing these out as we go on this morning. But coming up in a little bit is gonna be the first stop, if you will. It's probably about another half a mile or so from here. And that's another marina. And I'll point that out to you as we get closer. About a mile into today's walk, we're at the Bonneville boat launch. So there's parking here, uh, even a little dog park, which is pretty cool. So depending upon how you wanna set up your trip, how many miles you wanna walk, uh, this is probably the last one uh, like this until we get on the other side of Causeway Boulevard, which is about another, I guess about another mile away from this point. Uh, just past the Bonneville boat launch, we're coming up to one of a few of these. If you're not familiar with the New Orleans area much, there's several canals. You can see how they come out from Lake Pontchartrain and they go southbound back into town, the Mississippi Rivers, a few miles away. Helps the water drain in this area. So we're gonna have a few of these, but you can see in the distance is the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. So we should be approaching that in the next few minutes.
uh, we came from this direction and now we're just about right up to the causeway it's about a mile and a half from where we started this morning at the bucktown marina you can see the uh tall buildings overlooking the lake so when i get up to it i'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's like walking under one of the longest bridges in the world Just about to finish walking underneath. But if you do need to get off, if you need to get something to eat or drink, this is Causeway Boulevard and there's several businesses down there that's just a few blocks away. On the other side of the Causeway Bridge now. And I want to point out, I saw this when we first got on the trail. This trail is completely parallel to a levee. I've seen a few people walk on it. I'm not saying for sure that you could do it all the way, but if you'd rather get off the sidewalk, get out of the way of some of the bike riders, this might be an option for you as well. Just a short distance off of the trail, we have this little jetty that sticks out. And I thought I'd come out and show what it looks like, kind of being out over the water a little bit. Got about two and a half miles left for the day and you probably noticed a few spots i would show entrances just keep in mind that these are entrances from some of the neighborhoods that run alongside the lake so i wouldn't say automatically that they would be easily accessible it's mainly for those that live in the area but definitely these boat landings are going to be the way to go uh, i pointed out causeway earlier there's a lot of parking in that area too because there's a lot of businesses. So overall, I think at this point, I've counted about three public access points with a fourth one coming up in the next two and a half miles. And that'll be the end of our walk when we get there and I'll show it to you as I get closer. Right, we're now crossing into the city of Kenner and we are now probably a little over a half a mile away back from uh, the end of our walk for today. Yeah, I thought that was cool recording the 
jet flying over. It's not often you get a jumbo jet flying right across you when you're on trail. Uh, but they're uh, about to land over at uh, New Orleans, uh, Louis Armstrong International Airport. So now that we're within about a half mile of the end of the trail, and of course, when we get to the end, I'll show you where we parked. But my thoughts for today, it's really peaceful, beautiful walk along Lake Pontchartrain. You saw a couple of slides and a short video a little while back. We had a couple of birds in there. There was a heron and of course, a pelican. And there are places to sit down along the way. Of course, there's not a lot of shade. There's basically no shade because you're right on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain and you have a levee to your left. So there's no trees or anything, which is why I'm wearing my brim hat today. But there were several entry points. I'm walking past one right now. Of course, a lot of these though are from neighborhoods, like I mentioned earlier. So just be wary of that. I would stick to the boat landings. The one that we started at this morning at Bucktown, then there's Bonneville. You could always park somewhere right off of Causeway Boulevard and walk a few blocks to get on. And then of course, where we're going right now, there's a boat landing right next door to Treasure Chest Casino. So I highly recommend if you wanna come out and get on one of these multi-purpose trails, it's a straight shot, it's well made. There's several spots where you have a walking lane by itself. So you're not having to constantly look over your shoulder um, to see if there's any bike riders coming behind you. But definitely been a beautiful day, great way to start the hiking season for this fall and after we get back to our car we're going to go back to where we started grab some new orleans food for lunch which is going to be nice all right we're coming up to the end of the hike today that's the treasure chest casino i'm going to walk a little further and you'll be able to see the van pulling out from the front of treasure chest but straight across i'm gonna try to go ahead and zoom it for you as i get closer back down that way is another parking lot it's another marina where you can park we were not able to get in there this morning keep that in mind if you come out on the weekend because a lot of people like to come out on the weekends we weren't able to park in there so what we did was you can see the stop sign up here. If you turn left, this will take you back out and it will allow you to find a parking spot. Uh, that's Williams Boulevard uh, right there. And the parking lot to the casino is about a block down on the right. They're doing a lot of renovations. It used to be where those rails are. The parking lot was back just on that side over there, but they moved it. So that's the end of our walk today. Um, but I do want to point out though, we're not going the entire length of this trail. You can see where we're up at the stop sign. That's why I'm going to stop. This trail goes on for about another four miles. But the reason why we selected to end right here is because if you go the entire length of this trail, it goes back to residential and there's not another uh, trailhead parking lot like this one is right here uh, it's towards neighborhoods but basically what it continues to do is it goes along like it's been along Lake Pontre and it hooks to the left and it goes along a canal uh, that basically serves as a uh, levee to protect the city of Kenner so that's it all right, just wait for my friend to come out. Uh, Treasure Jesse went inside for a few minutes. But as I mentioned earlier, this was a nice walk today. A lot of fun, uh, things to do. If we wanted to just go inside the treasure chest, we could do that, but we are gonna go back to Bucktown. But if you just wanna have something that's a little under 10 miles, uh, beautiful scenery, places to sit down, it's a good starter trail before you start going on long walks. I highly recommend you come out here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon on another Louisiana Trail.